Bishop Benson in the house. I went all the way to Benin City, so um, it's been quite some time now. It's, it's, it's been a while. I love Lagos. Yeah, uh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, where was Clarion Clarkwood from? Good question. Clarion Clarkwood is a uh, sinner saved by grace. Um, okay. I am in my right mind by the grace of God. I live, eat, breathe by the grace of God. I'm an advertisement for the grace of God. I can't do without the grace of God. Anybody who knows me knows that this is an embodiment and a symbol and a signpost for the grace of God. I was born in Ghana. Wow. I grew up in uh, Ghana. I have lived in many African countries mm -hmm. as a missionary. And uh, yeah. Uh, that's how come I came to Nigeria on the invitation of the late Archbishop Benson Dahosa. Mm -hmm. So I've been around by God's grace for a few years, um, and then God has been merciful to me immensely, immensely. Mm -hmm. I cannot end this introduction by not thanking God for His mercies and His grace. If it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be alive by now. Mm, mm, mm. Quite, quite, quite. Uh, that is quite uh, your introduction. Quite impactful, I must say. Quite heavy. Okay, so I, I, I'm curious, Clarence Clarkwood. You know, if 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 I just heard that name, I'll think it was one someone from England, one white man. I don't know. What's what's the story behind this name? Clarkwood. Uh, well, I live in England. I live in England, but that's not why the name. Okay. Um, I think that it has its roots in the, um, you know, most of African countries were colonized. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, we had exactly, okay. exactly. So, but I have no idea um, um, how my mom came with the name Clarion. You know, that has got something to do with leadership. Okay. You know, uh, like a leader, yeah. and someone who starts that, who who calls people to action and things like that. And I'm not surprised that that call. is part of my, yeah. Yeah, that's part of my temperament. Now I like to motivate people, mm -hmm. raise choirs, raise singers, encourage people, and things like that. And the Clarkwood uh, has got some other maybe Hebrew meanings that means an uncommonly uh, favored covenant worship of God. Mm. Um, uh, I discovered that later on. So um, um, you see, many parents, my parents, have come from an idol worshiping background. Mm -hmm. They were found, and then grace found them through the Presbyterian missionaries. So. Um, they were totally sold out, especially my mom, and she decided uh, none of her kids will do anything other than be sold out to Christ. So it has got its roots in that. Um, I, it's just not um, nothing strange. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So, uh, okay, take, take us down at every lane. Um, give us a bit of your... Um, how, when did you start doing this, the music thing, gospel music and all? Uh, I understand you have been doing it for a very long time, but just, uh, you know, give us a bit of uh, inside uh, information. When did this all start? By God's grace, I've been, by God's grace, I've been in this thing for well over 45 years. Interesting. <laughs> wow. Yes. And uh, I am a stammer, you know, I stammer. Okay, but you've not stammered since we started talking. Though. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> because my mom and my grandma discovered that the, when I was a child, the okay. only time I did not stammer uh, was when you were singing. Was when I sang oh. or when I spoke English. Interesting. And I, it's strange, you know. So they decided to communicate through music to me. That was a selective go to go and search water for mm. mom mm. yes mom so it was something melodious or musical like that because mm. they found out that the only time i did not stammer is when music was in the background wow you see but <laughs> so my speech impediment i overcame now if you hear me stammer then there's a lot of pressures in the system and things like that mm. i overcame through the power of, of music, music by God's grace. Interesting, interesting. And then in secondary school, uh, no one knew I could sing. I knew I liked music. I knew I had music in me. I would take my mom's suspense and take empty milk cans and <laughs> things like that from the rubbish bins and be drumming and things like that, all those things. But I knew I liked music. Mm. Then I had this classmate who had a fantastic tenor voice mm. and when we sang in school the whole school was in uproar but he was my roommate and he knew that i was a better singer but i would rather lay back and do drums and things like that mm. once he invited me to do a duet with him and that was the end of the story 
Ouch. You know, I ended up taking over the school choirs and setting up choirs and other churches choirs. I hope he didn't feel bad though. And leaders and no, 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 no. He's still my best friend today. He's a good friend. He's a good friend. Yeah, I, in fact, I think that he's one of the people. Well, he's the guy that God used to ignite and to unleash the singing gift that God had uh, embedded in my DNA. Uh, I thank God greatly first line, yes. Uh, a great one, a great one. Okay, so, um, so um, in the music space, uh, well, what, what exactly do you do? You sing, uh, yes, I see you sing, but uh, okay, so from your bio, from your, um, I understand you also lead, you direct choirs and all that. Take us uh, through that. Uh, how, how did that come about? Oh, uh, you're going to put me in trouble now. <laughs> you see, for me, words are sounds. Mm -hmm. Pictures become sounds, becomes images, mm -hmm. right? it becomes state, it becomes... So I am always in a production bubble. I could be driving and I'm hearing sounds, I'm seeing stages, I'm seeing how the song can be arranged and things like that. Mm -hmm. I am a prisoner of music and a prisoner of Christ. For me, music comes to me like an energy form, and until it and, and until it's out of me, I am not free. Mm. So I'm always, always into, always, in, always, always in production. You see, I did not choose music, yeah, but music true, chose yeah. me. Mm. If I had the power to choose, I wouldn't have chosen music because I was also a good athlete and a good footballer. Wow. I did other things I like inventing my first degree. Yes, mm. my first degree is in engineering. And listen, I would be sitting in my engineering class at UST, Ghana. I finish answering the questions, I'll turn the part of the question paper and use the question to write a song and the answers as a song. Mm -hmm. And I go and sing to my lecturers, my professors. They thought I was crazy. They were asking, what are you doing in this school? This place is not for you. Not Get for into you. music. <laughs> so for me, everything around me makes music to me. Brings Ayadabasa, brings music to me, sends to me like music signals. Every occasion, every situation, for me, I see music in it. And it's strange. Mm, it's strange. Mm, mm. The time check. It's 10 minutes gone past 5 o'clock, and we have uh, Clarion Clarkwood uh, with us in the studio. Yes, not in the studio physically, but of course, he's with us in spirit, and he's talking about the phone lines. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, let's just take a quick detour to look at the traffic situation. Let's see what's happening at this time. Oh, Kyodo. Uh, it's still a very good movement within the length and breadth of the zone. Aside very slight delays within Ilepo proper. All other areas within the zone are very calm, including Charity and or Jalba intersections. No impediment recorded while we have traffic managers on ground doing the needful. And uh, I have a, uh, well, a video actually showing me the Charity intersection, how things are looking like around that end. All right, uh, we'll give you more traffic feeds. Uh, of course, uh, we have uh, online with us Clarion Clarkwood. I don't know something about that name. Just, okay, I, I, growing up, I learned how to play the piano and I know one of the um, books that they used there was small wood. So whenever I hear Clark Wood, <laughs> that small wood just <laughs> small wood, small wood, yeah, small wood, yeah, 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 small wood, yeah, small wood, yeah, yeah. 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 amazing yeah. pianist, <laughs> great, great, amazing, yeah. Yeah. fantastic guy. Okay, so. Uh, uh, from the bio, I see that, uh, you know, I was uh, told, or rather I, I read, that uh, you have quite uh, the stack of awards. Could you tell us a bit about that? Okay, uh, I think a year or two ago, I was nominated for, uh, and I won, actually, okay. uh, for as the um, Best International Inspirational Singer-Songwriter in Zambia, in the Olive Awards. Uh, in Zambia? I've been nominated. Zambia, yeah. Wow. Uh, from my son, Fear Can Hold Me Down. You should check that one out. Mm -hmm. Very good one. And then um, um, I was I've been nominated for um, Black Essence Award in Indiana for one of my first worship albums since you came. Indiana, that's in the USA. In the USA, yes. Okay. I didn't win, but okay. I was nominated. I'm grateful for that. And they here in the UK as well. The same year I was nominated for the same track. Uh, by John Music Awards, so um, yeah, there's a few of them that uh, that comes to mind readily. But mm -hmm. you see, for me, 
it's great to have awards. Mm. Uh, uh, um, and I'm grateful for when I get them on earth. But above all, I want to make sure when I get to heaven, I hear well done. Mm. I'm good and faithful mm. servant. Amazing. It's priceless to me. It's priceless to me. Because I know a lot of things that happens in the industry and people will go any extent to get an award. To get those uh, acclaims uh, and exactly, all that. Mm. Exactly. Mm. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So talk to me. Uh, looking at... Uh, the music industry, gospel music industry in Ghana there, and, uh, you know, the other places you've been to, and where you are right now in the UK, can you, you know, do a comparison? How, how is it like? Uh, you're going to put me in trouble, sir. You're going to put me in trouble. <laughs> I was told you asked very tough questions. I read about you. No. You're going to put me in trouble right here. <laughs> um, you see, for me, <laughs> the gospel music industry is suffering from some of the effects of postmodernity. Mm. How do you mean? <sighs> I tell you, you're going to put me in trouble right now. I don't want to spark a bit. Um, postmodernity is labor with such ills, no goods and ills like consumerism um, mm. and individualism. What is good for you may not be good for me. I mean, consumerism is all about selling, 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 selling. Going commercial. And we're so sold. No, so sold, so 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 been so sold so, so much that sometimes we begin to sell out Christ from mm. our songs. Okay. I want to keep Christ central. I want to make Christ and the central Christ theme of your as the subjective genitive and the objective genitive in the subject and the object about whom i think okay you know uh, um, uh the challenging thing is uh, about postmodernity is also that is uh, affected god's music industry worldwide is also this seeker this thing that some of the churches in america and some parts of the world started doing seeker friendly churches mm -hmm. we've started making seeker friendly music so it's like anything that we think will make a hook will make a catch and mm -hmm. people will move to it let's do that and in our doing that sometimes we leave out the christ that is the one the christ jesus who is the one your central message only central message mm -hmm. the gospel mm -hmm. we leave that out that for me is a challenge the music side everything great is progressing it's kicking in people are doing great stuff and uh, the sound is good the sound is fresh with this new sound that are coming up mm -hmm. it's all good but all those things are only supposed to support only supposed to create the atmosphere for the revelation of jesus the christ by the power of the holy spirit so sometimes we can't tell or not just us it's just that the bible said that the whole of creation is groaning for the manifestation of sons and daughters of god they, i believe the whole of the music world is groaning mm. for the revelation all right amazing stuff amazing stuff okay so um i have this traffic update i just uh came in touching the olu and it's still a good movement the entire length and breadth of the area uh upon one descending to cms by outer marina night also state house mcquen uh, officers mess and bonnie camp ascending or bali in bridge all the way to adeniji through the diversion point to connect at dekone uh yes uh looking very good and no impediment that's uh, the latest on that and at this time i can also tell you around the masha aguda so Larry axis movement in and out of body thomas junction on route eric moore and do you really is good uh traffic in and out of batalima shout to centers is okay all all through adelabu on route uh masha underneath the bridge connecting onile gogoro is appreciable nepa Ayeto Road, Brown Road, Bakwabuda, moving as expected. Nobi Street linking Kilo down to Masha Bridge is good to go. Ogolano Drive exit linking Lansin Road, still looking good at the moment. Okota Bridge by Sele Roundabout is in order. Likewise, the return journey navigating through Shuri Expressway by the service lane, quite appreciable. No impediment. Yes, we have uh, Clarion Clarkwood with us. And uh, yes, it's a phone interview, uh, but of course, he has been shedding light on a lot of very serious stuff and uh, well you can uh go watch this uh, 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 what we're doing right now it's streaming live on youtube yes you can go watch uh the live stream on youtube that's uh traffic radio 961 and of course um 
appeared on the radio, of course. Uh, uh, but of course, for those that want to see my face, my guest is not here in the studio with us, so you might not see his face. You might, might just see his picture, uh, but uh, he is here with us via the phone lines. And uh, Glenn Crockwood, um, award-winning UK-based choir director, gospel singer, prolific songwriter. I love that, that prolific songwriter. So I'm going to ask you, I'm going to ask you, how do you write your songs? Okay, how does that work for you? How do you write your songs? Uh, this guy, this guy, this guy. <laughs> No, no, this guy, this, this, this guy, let me, <laughs> Jesus Christ, where are these guys from? Listen, you're asking tough questions, man. Is that what you do to your, <laughs> yes. Well, I'd love to know, I'm just curious. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ, this guy, man. <laughs> I write songs through everything around me, everything mm. I see, mm. and by one of the biggest motivations uh to my songwriting style is pain pain P A I N. nobody wants pain i don't want it either but we can't live without it so uh pain um the pain i've been through pain i've observed in people pain by god's grace i've counseled people out of what i'm also dealing with my own pain and things like that all of that um, inspires uh, me to write so that i can reach people because you see Pain is a commonality. It doesn't care. Pain is no respect of persons yeah. or wealth or titles and things like that. Just a few days ago, it was on the news. Uh, the Princess of Wales yeah. has been diagnosed with cancer. Can you imagine? So yeah. it's not pain is no respect of no wealth. Respect of, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So wealth, so and then names and titles and geography and 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 even religion. Yeah, mm-hmm. I said that religion. Pain is no respect of it. You know, so when I write, I want to write as a human being to a human being because you see I believe that music must be written and made with simplicity and with humility to help humanity. And to be able to cross across every divide. Music must be written and produced with simplicity mm-hmm. and humility mm-hmm. to help humanity. Mm, mm. If these two elements are out, we have missed it. Okay, one. Karen, uh, so your latest uh, work, I Will Rise, uh, we have it here, and we're going to go listen to it. Uh, but I, I have a few questions I'm going to be asking. So uh, what's the story behind I Will Rise? What's the story behind this? I Will Rise is not a song I could have written. It's a song I received. Uh, it came from a powerful image I saw. I was driving, uh, and then I saw this image of a great person decorated. Anything you see about that image I saw is great, like a king, like a king. I mean, president, prime, something, great person. You see it straight up there, done, boom. But the person was in chains in their hands, in their feet, in their legs, and they were chained to the floor in the seats they were on. It didn't make sense to me. How can somebody be this great and they're in chains? It doesn't make sense to me at all. Mm. So I stopped the car and I started investigating why am I seeing this? God, what is that? Does this mean? And I found out that <laughs> that was me, that was you, that was everybody listening. In our DNA, is it's impregnated with greatness. Sometimes systems, forces, human failures, religion, culture, tradition, all of this become chains that inhibit us from rising to our maximum potential. Mm. Lack of education, who I married, what family I come from, what background, did I have a father to take care of me, where was my mother, where was I born? All of this become chains that inhibits, that controls, that try to dictate or regulate. It down and all. Mm. That mm. try to regulate or control how high we can rise. Mm. Mm. All right, Karen, let's go listen to our rise. I still have a few questions because I watched the video. Now, when you explained it, it you know, it's uh, brought to, you know, I uh, kind of understood uh, a bit of uh, the imagery I saw in that video, you know. Uh, but let, let's let's go listen to that song and we'll be right back. Yes, uh, up next, I Will Rise by Karen Clarkwood. Do enjoy. <laughs> I will rise like a fear. 
6.1 FM green from ear to ear <laughs> amazing amazing piece of work Clavin kudos kudos to you this uh it is thank you. lovely thank yes. you. so um I watched that video. So, guys, if you're listening to uh, this show, yes, uh, uh, or if you're watching us via YouTube, um, go, go check out the video. Okay, so um, there, there's, there's uh, a lot of imagery. At some point in time, you were in chains. You were, you know, how, how, how long did it take you to, you know, um, come up with all that? Who, first of all, who produced this song? Who was your producer? <laughs> this guy. This guy. <laughs> okay, the producer, um, the music was produced here um, in the UK. Yeah, okay, okay. A guy called Azayadi, good okay. producer. Mm. The guitarist is Ben Tricky. Uh, okay. Yeah, um, uh, Ben Tricky, a Caucasian guy. Okay. Played, I mean, 
bad producers, but normally when I go into production, I know what I want, I know what I'm after, I know what sound I want to get. Mm. So I've got um, a pool of uh, producer friends around the world. So each song I know that this guy can do justice to me and like help me interpret what I'm hearing in my spirit. So mm. this, yeah, yeah, these guys did it, and they, I think they did a great job. Movies were done here, uh, some parts. I got some singers in Ghana and Zambia as well. I made them join the BVs and I put them all together. But most of the BVs were done here in my home mm. studio. And then, um, um, yes, and then that's. Uh, I love the fact. Uh, the, I love the fact that you gave it to truly the BVs. Yeah, the, the, for those who don't know what BVs are, so background backup vocals. So um, the 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 Africanness, you know, it gave that there was this vibe to it towards the end when it came, and that was really really nice, really really nice. Did you arrange that? See, I grew up listening. Yes, I, all, all, all the vocal arrangement is this me. You know, the right. call master. Yes. That is my. <laughs> I see that. I see that. I see that. Yeah. Yeah, I have a call with that. But that vibe came later on when I was in my eyelids because all of a sudden I could just hear the good yes, I didn't yeah. know. I, I, I was trying to put some lyrics in the Bible. I mean, it wasn't coming. I get in fact, and I got more possessed with the sound I was hearing. The zoom balloons going on. I started chopping it up. And then um, then I. That even got into me more. You see, um, and then I got the other BBs to add on to that. And. Uh, I think that did a lot of good uh, to the track on the overall. See, the video was shot in a former slave cell mm. um, um, called the Asha Fort in Ghana. In Ghana, um, okay. Uh, yes, yes. And uh, initially, I'm not even thought of that. It's in, in, in strange. This Asha Fort area is one of the areas I grew up, and we used to sneak ourselves to, to, to go into the prison to see things, and little kids and things like that. Okay. Um, little did I, and when I had to shoot the video, I'd forgotten about the place entirely. And mm. I was thinking of some other locations. And then I sent the music to the video director, Larry Fetter, who is now taking his master's in films in USA, Georgia. Okay. He said, No, I've got this in mind. Come down, come and see this place. And I, I was like, Shut up. And this is where I grew up. What are you talking about? No, I the area. I went in there, and it was a perfect location for it. You see, we do the shoot, something happened. Um, at the point I was hearing voices coming out of the prison cells in there. Uh, it, wow. it felt like, as uh, I'm telling you, as I speak, my goosebumps all over me. And I have that on video. No, no, it, wow. Uh, at the point I, listen, at the point I was manifesting. I was wow. manifesting. No, no, they were filming it. I've got it on video. They have it on video. Wow. I mean, I started speaking what I was hearing because I could hear ancestors screaming, oh no, oh no, 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 oh no. Uh, but yes, still in the midst of it, the black race is rising. This is amazing. Rising. This is deep. Rising. Wow. Look, I mean, I've done videos, I've shot videos, but mm. this one was on a different frequency. I've got um, like a web developer in India. He wanted to tell him that the energy on this is different. Yes. He needs to do a decent, some other stuff to it. And, 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 and there's nothing fickery about my video shoots, especially this one, because of the image I saw that inspired the song mm. and the location and mm. what happened on the day of shoot. My makeup artist, as a point, who's Nigerian, she's Nigerian, she, she, she's Nigerian. At the mm. point, she had to flee, she had to run away from the set because she thought something was coming over me. Seriously. Uh. I saw the look. I saw yeah. at the end of the um, the last uh, the last yeah. part of the yeah. video. So yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. This is really yeah. extreme, amazing stuff. Yeah. Amazing stuff. Yeah. Okay, so but how has it been received the world over in Ghana, amazing. in the amazing. UK? Amazing. amazing, amazing, especially in the West. Amazing. More so in the West. Amazing. <laughs> Someone wants to go and check your video. Amazing. Someone just sent me a message on WhatsApp. I'm asking for the proper spelling of the name. Like, there's a lot of go check on YouTube because of what you're talking about. Because of the way you're yeah. describing the video. Look at this type. I will rise. I will rise. Okay. My first name, Clarion. Clarion. I will rise and Clarion. C L A R I O N. Okay. So, uh, forget about the surname. Forget yeah. about the surname. Uh, it's too long. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, uh, okay. you didn't write your name. You didn't write your name, but you just asked. Okay, so it's Clarion. C L A R I O N. I will rise. Mm -hmm. Yes, I will rise. Clarion. Then my one will come up. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So go, go check it out. Okay. <laughs> I guess I want to go check what we're talking about and all that. So 
Uh, for those on the roads, this is uh, the update on the Agege Pen Cinema Access. Down to you turn in what's up at Akran. Down to Mobila Shade, connecting Akilo is good to go. Marketing connecting Oduero in what's up at Ogunji is in good shape. Pen Cinema, uh, and underneath the bridge and uh, uh, the bridge itself in what's night all down to about here. It's a fast moving one. Okay, go to Shofun D, Abotikuyo in what's uh, Alag, but no cause for alarm. Guinness in what's Akonido Hati. Capital Oniwaya uh, Alfanla appreciable. It's all cocoa post office in most total underneath the bridge is good to go. Fumek Akme metal box inwards web Wemco no cost for alarm, no impediment, and we have traffic managers on ground doing the need for Yes, of course, we still have a Clarion Clarkwood with us uh, via phone lines, and we have been talking a lot about him. I know it's definitely we cannot exhaust everything Clarion Clarkwood. We're just touching a bit of the surface, and I know definitely he will make a return. Yes, we'll be talking to us. I know we're we'll coming to. I heard, when are you coming to Niger? <laughs> I, I can't wait, to be honest with you. I can't wait. I mean, I'm like a ready horse, ready to unleash some energy. I can't wait. <laughs> okay, so aside from our guys, um, how many other albums, body of works do you have out there? Oh, most of them. I mean, one other track that was released um, that won the award in Zambia is okay. Okay, Can Hold Me Down. Okay. Another serious track. Another serious track. Um, and is there also a video for yeah. that? Okay. Okay. Down, on down. YouTube? This is on YouTube, so not bad one. That's been okay. out for, say, over a year. I mean, that's bad. And the reception to that is also being very huge. It's still doing very well now, especially in the Western Hemisphere. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. it's a really, really good track. Um, yeah. Okay. And many others. My uh, last minute board. So many of them. Yes. Okay. Uh, my YouTube channel. Okay. Yeah. So, um, what next? What next for Clarion? What next? Oh, I've got great stuff coming up. Um, I am um, I'm working seriously. I've got some film shoots coming up, um, music video shoots coming up for the worship album. I can't wait. And another inspirational, or two other inspirational albums. Um, I'm still here and then try again. Oh, wow. Oh, my days. I can't wait. <laughs> so these are things I'm looking forward to. I'm looking to put together um, some of the songs on an album and then also release my brand spanking new website coming up soon oh, and uh, release amazing. some books as well so, um, a few things like, but like i said um, i'm still in prison i'm still making music all the time even in my sleep even, mm. even when every time I'm making music so um i just pray for humility for myself for wisdom for myself and for good health and long life um, because i've got lots of things to look curious. any likely collaborations with uh, any of our nigerian gospel artists only Buddy the Lord leads me to. I'm more than happy to do stuff with them. Okay. Um, it has to be the Lord's leading. Mm. See, it's become like the popular thing now. It's become like the new thing artists are doing now. But mm. see, I'm reminded of a Bible story where two kings who were friends, they were friends. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them had a fight. It was his fierce battle. And then his friend, he invited his friend to join him in the fight, which is good. He joined him, and then he, the king whose battle it was, gave his regalia, his outfit, to his friend to wear into battle. Mm -hmm. And the enemies were about killing him. And then he took off the king's clothes and said, it's not me, I'm not that king you're looking for. Spare my life. And then they spared his life. You see, sometimes this thing about collaboration is beautiful, it's brilliant, it's great, but is it God's leading? Is, is it God inspiring us to do that? Because I've also seen other stuff where people collaborated and it was just because it's become the norm. Nothing wrong with collaborations. I featured artists on my albums, on my songs. I do that all the time. Nothing wrong with that. Even when I do choirs and I'm having my choir concerts, if I see you can sing in your crowd, I'll give the microphone to you straight away. Do that. Mm. I, I like that. I like for all things to come together but they have, if this music thing we're doing belongs to god then god has to order our steps mm -hmm. into collaborations mm -hmm. so i'm hoping i'm praying i'm believing god that one day we'll do stuff and then i'll be very very happy mm -hmm. and i'll go all out for it because oh, i see myself as nigerian i see myself as <laughs> <a> nigerian you know that <laughs> Mm. Uh, amazing, amazing, amazing one. So for those who want to connect with you via social media, uh, how do we do that? At Clarion Clarkwood. 
or type oh, in my songs and and then you can find me yes and then you can find and support me on there um i used to say find and follow me no find and support me on there you know i can't command anyone to follow me <laughs> just find and support me uh, as you live on you, there uh, like i share my posts and things like yeah, that yeah you have all your songs on uh streaming platforms right Yes, all of them. Okay, Spotify, so um, Baby, well, about, talk about the iTunes, all of them. Stay. What do we search for? How do we you type Clarion? T L A R I O N. Okay. The Clark Wood, C L A R K E W O O D E. Clark with an E, Wood with an E. One word on that one. one, one Clark word. with an E. Clark Wood. So, so Clark C A R K E K E W O O D E. Okay. That's Clark one word. word. Yes. Okay. Yes. So and Clark. Clark. Or type the name of the song. Just type the name of the song. Mm. Okay. 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 Just type the name of the song and my first name. Okay. Clarion, or maybe I will write fear calm me down. Last minute God, Clarion. Oh, come on. And everything will pop up. All right, Clarion, it's been an amazing time uh, with you on the show. And uh, yes. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. For all the tough questions. <laughs> and at the point where was playing, uh, I, I'm sure you were trying to pick up on like a Phoenix from the Ashes. Yeah, Phoenix from the Ashes. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. arrangements, the fact that you know you modulated and all that. That was amazing, amazing Thank arrangements. You. Thank Very you. great stuff. You're a producer, aren't you? Sometimes you're a producer, right? <laughs> Always, I can tell from the questions uh, you asked. Yeah. <laughs> great stuff, great stuff, great right. stuff. Nice, nice, nice being on this show. I can't be waiting to be back here. Thank you so Amazing. much for the support and everything. Yeah. Right. And thank you to Gospel Groove, Gospel Groove, Victor. Thank you so much. Big shout thank out you. to Victor. Thank you for being you. Great work. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I will definitely uh, just let you know that right here from Lagos Traffic Radio, we're rooting for you and uh, just keep us in the loop let us know how things pan out uh yes always always uh, keep us informed uh, we are wishing for the very very best uh for you thank in you. your career and your music you. and uh you know thank you um definitely it's gonna be a great one all right all the best bro and you're definitely right thank you thank you so much <laughs> god bless brother i love you great i love nigeria mm. and i'm back soon thank you great. thank you <laughs> Yeah, I'm alive, 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 I'm